All right, joined on the phone now by Jets third round selection, Nathan Shepard. Nathan, what was your reaction when your phone started ringing? Uh, I, I can't even tell you, man. It, it took me by surprise, and before you know it, you know, my agent's saying I'm a Jet. I was just thinking back to everything I had done during my visit and just like thinking about how I made an impression on that team and just so grateful that they were able to give me that opportunity to prove to them what I can do for their organization. When you came here on a top 30 visit, what were your impressions of the coaching staff, the building, and everything else that comes along with it? Oh, the building is beautiful. I definitely love the building. Lots of light. But, I mean, that's besides the point. I didn't necessarily come for the scenery. I came to, to get better. Everyone was very realistic with where they were at, where they want to be this season, next season, and had a really good grasp on how we are going to go about achieving those goals. All right, I want to dive into your background a little bit because you have one of the best stories in the draft this year. You're born in Canada. You play football there for a couple years. You end up leaving, saving money, moving to Hayes, Kansas, where you walked on at Fort Hayes State. You worked like a 1,000 jobs there to pay your way through school. You end up being put on scholarship. In 2017, you're the MIAA Defensive Player of the Year And, oh, by the way, not to mention, you gained almost 100 pounds from a linebacker to a defensive tackle. Take us through your journey. Okay, so 2011, I graduated high school. I played linebacker predominantly, but I wasn't athletic enough to compete with other backers. One of my coaches and mentors, Jerry Martinez, sat me down and said, you know, you're a hell of a football player, but you're going to have to change positions if you want to compete at the next level. So I tried out to be a defensive end. I went to Simon Fraser, which is a D2 school in Vancouver. And my first year, I played defensive end as uh, just on the scout team, redshirt year. After that, I had went from 205 to 250, played defensive tackle that year, the, the following year, my redshirt freshman year, and had a good start. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to return the next year just because of financial hardships. From then, I started working. I worked at a plant nursery. I worked electrical construction. The money I saved over almost two years went to pay for my first semester at Fort Hay State University. I continued to grow. So when I made it back to Toronto, I had gotten up to 295. And then before I went to Fort Hay State, I was about 315. Tremendous story from Hayes, Kansas to the Big Apple. Congratulations, Nathan, and welcome to the New York Jets. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Can't wait to see you guys.